Most VAs lose clients not because they are bad, but because they can't use this simple tool called CRM. If you don't know how to use CRM, you are leaving money on the table. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use HubSpot CRM. There are a lot of CRM tools online that you can use, but most of them are paid. But however, with HubSpot, you can use the tool for free and learn how to use an actual CRM. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use HubSpot CRM so you can stop missing opportunities. You know, I got your neighbor. Hi neighbor, I checked my YouTube analytics and discovered that most of you watching my videos are not subscribed yet. You probably forgot, I understand. Do take a second to confirm if you're subscribed to the channel. And if you're not, kindly hit the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any content on the channel. This keeps me motivated to create amazing videos like this one you're watching and any other videos you're going to watch on the channel. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for supporting my journey. Like this video so it can reach a wider audience. Now let's get back to the video. CRM is the acronym for Customer Relationship Management. It's just a tool that keeps all your clients, leads and conversations in one place. It stores people follow-ups and tasks so you stay on top of everything your job as a virtual assistant is to keep the crm clean and organized it's not your duty to pay for any crm tool now the duties of a virtual assistant with a crm customer relationship management system depends on the business or niche they are supporting but the core responsibilities revolve around managing and organizing clients customer data to help the business run smoothly and close deals effectively so you are basically running the data entry and database management lead and clients tracking automations and workflows communication management reporting and analytics now if you're a real estate virtual assistant your tax might look a little bit different it might look something like tracking property listings tracking buyers and seller leads and clients inquiries schedule property viewings and follow up after showings maintain a pipeline of interested buyers and sellers i have made a complete tutorial a master class for you if you have interest in becoming a real estate virtual assistant i have made a master class just for you this is the video but if you are a beginner this is the first time you're hearing about crm or you've heard about crm tool but you don't know how to use it stay till the end of this video this is the video you want to watch till the end if you're interested in customer service management if you're interested in supporting clients with sales and marketing becoming a sales and marketing va you want to stay till the end of this particular video okay so if you are a customer service va your tasks might look a little bit different from that of the real estate virtual assistant so your task will be to log support tickets and track resolutions, segment customers by subscription, setting up reminders for pending issues. If you're interested in sales and marketing, you are going to be managing lead pipelines for outreach campaign, track email sequences and engagement, update the CRM after each campaign, right? So if you are a complete beginner, this is what this video is for. Let's talk in right now. Let's go into the tutorial. So now let's head to my computer and start the tutorial let's do this neighbor like this video by the way so it can reach a wider audience subscribe if you've not yet and let's get into the tutorial right now let's go these are different crm tools we have hubspot we have zuvo salesforce we have monday if i click on here you will see a lot of them there is ClickUp, there is zendex there is salesflare what does this mean? There are different tools that you can use and know this, your responsibility is not to create or pay for any CRM tool. And it's super important when you hear CRM, it's not like it's a name of a company. You can literally use Google Sheets to create your CRM. Remember what CRM stands for, Customer Relationship Management, and use Google Sheets to do this, all right? So I just wanted to show you that there are different CRM tools that you can master, but a lot of them are paid. Most of them are paid for this reason we're going to be using hubspot because hubspot gives us the free version that we can use so this is what your interface is going to look like now let's say you receive an email or a call from a potential customer for inquiry about your client's business how do you key that in into a crm this is going to be one of the simplest tutorials you've ever seen on CRM because I know you've probably been hearing CRM and it's so overwhelming for you you want to come here where it says CRM 
right you want to click on contact because you have to log the details of the customer inside the crm i don't know if you've ever made a call to a business before and they're like keeping you on hold and asking or asking you of your details let's say bank yeah let's use bank the banking sector they are asking oh what's your name if you call your network providers and then they ask you some basic questions yeah they are basically trying to like look up your details in the crm and i'm going to show you how to do that okay but let's take this one after the other this email addresses they are not real they are not from real people okay so how do you key in the contact of the customer all you need to do is to come here where it says create contact here you want to add key details of the customer so i love the name elizabeth so i'm just going to use it i'm going to use elizabeth eliza elizabeth with this name because we're lazy and paste it here so for the email we're going to say at gl.com remember we're using fake emails though the name is not fake <laughs> all right last name zoe or zoe okay now remember that the duties of a virtual assistant with a crm system depend on the business or niche they are supporting but the core responsibility revolve around managing and organizing clients or customer data to help the business run smoothly and close deals effectively. So your duties will depend on the kind of business you're supporting. Now, if the business we're supporting needs the person's job details, we're just going to say, let's say, um, video editor. <laughs> let's say video editor. Okay, so we can also key in the number here using the country code first. And then we do that, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Now, next up is the life cycle stage. What does this mean? Is this a lead? Is this a subscriber? Remember, it depends on the business and the niche. So we have different options here. Is this a customer? We're going to call this a lead. Next up is the lead status. We're going to say this is a new lead. All right. Now we've added the details of the lead or the customer, depending on the business we're supporting, we're going to click on create. Now we have added the details of Elizabeth to the CRM. Now, if there's any additional notes we want to add here, you want to come here where it says notes. You can type in the notes here so that anybody that have access to the CRM, whether it's you or not, We'll see, oh, this is the conversation you had with Elizabeth. You can also send Elizabeth an email from the CRM platform, right? This is it. This is what it looks like. You can add your subject here, add the body of the email, and send the email from the CRM. You can also make calls right here. You can also create a tax right here. Let's say Elizabeth wants to buy a software and editing software remember that in the job role we added video editor let's say she wants to buy a software from your client and you need to create a task for yourself all you need to do is to click on task you want to come here and enter the task let's say you're creating a to-do list now for yourself you're supposed to get back to elizabeth in two days you're not going to say get back you're going to say you're going to say send an email to elizabeth elizabeth today is monday i'm going to say send an email to elizabeth um on wednesday we're just making this up <laughs> software of oh see my availability software update okay all right so right here we can also change the activity date we want to do this in on wednesday that means in two business days we're going to change that here i can also set a reminder i can also set the time let's say 9 30 a.m i can also set a reminder at due time 30 minutes before one hour before so for me i want to set one one day before so i can just easily automate the email in my CRM or using Gmail. All right. If there's any additional notes you also want to add here, like things you need to include in the email, you can see also include uh, also include discount code or price slash whatever it is you want to add. Now we're going to click on create. 
there are so many things you can do here on HubSpot CRM. Now you might be asking, okay, this is just one person. How do I get to see the tax? Let's say I have like um, a lot of clients. Let's say I have I have logged in like 20 clients. How do I get to see the tax for each of these clients? Do I have to like search for Elizabeth? Do I have to like search for Liz? Do I have to like keep checking each person's opening, each person's profile in order for me to see the tasks I have to do? The answer is no. All you need to do is to come back here to CRM. You scroll down to task and here you can see all your tasks. But let's say this is, you have like a thousand clients, 2,000, 10,000 clients on their database. All you need to do is to search, run a search. Let's say Elizabeth. While looking for Elizabeth, run a search for Elizabeth. And here you go. You can easily click on her profile here and you will see the tasks you need to do for Elizabeth. Now I want to give you another example, okay, that is totally different from this one. Let's say your client is an e-commerce store, like we have the Conga, we have the Gigi, we have the Amazon, we have the Jumia, right? You are the customer representative and someone called that they ordered a laptop, like I ordered a laptop from one of those e-commerce stores and then they sent me a refurbished laptop instead of a brand new laptop. This was exactly what happened. I called the first time and they created what we call a ticket for me. Now, how do you do that? You want to come back to CRM and you want to scroll down to tickets. Let's say this is a first time caller. You want to create a ticket to come here where it says create ticket. So you want to get the basic information of the customer. All right, so we're going to say Beth. We're going to call this person Beth. Description of the ticket let's say refurbished <laughs> i'm not going to mention the name of the refurbished laptop i'm not going to mention the name of the e-commerce store but some of you if you are following me on instagram you know it refurbished laptop i ordered a brand new laptop and then they sent me a refurbished laptop i got my money back oh, before you even ask i dragged them all right so sauce we can say phone yeah, because the person called parity. This is super high. It's a lot of money. Dates created. Today is the 24th of November. I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but my birthday is on the 28th of November. <laughs> okay. You can also search for the company. There are different companies. We have we even have a Fanak Bank e-commerce. <laughs> I created this one myself. <laughs> the next thing we want to do is to click on create. The next thing we want to do here is to come to notes and add all the details of the conversation, just like the previous one. We want to add the complaint that she complained about. Oh, I ordered a brand new laptop and they sent me a refurbished laptop. This is what happened. In my case, I was in the laptop in my group coaching program, VAS, doing our Monday session and the laptop just went off from 100 to zero. <laughs> The laptop went off and it was so crazy. So all of that, I'm going to key in all of the complaints that Beth is giving right here because she might call two days later and ask, oh, what's happening? You said you were going to get back to me. I've not heard from you guys and someone else will pick the call. So all the person needs to do is to come back to CRM. You click on tickets. This is right here. If we have like 100 tickets, this is where it will appear. We'll see all the tickets here. But just like we did with the previous one, let's say we have like 100 tickets, right? And then 20 people are named Beth. Beth, okay, we're supposed to like add a son name to this. I want to search for Beth Apan, and here we go. If you have a lot of contacts here, all you need to do is to search the person's name, just like we did in the previous one. And then you come on here. You will obviously see what the ticket is about, the description of the ticket, refurbished laptop. If you click on notes, you're going to see the conversations. This is how you create tickets on CRM. So to add companies, you come back to CRM, you click on companies. Right here, it's going to show us all the companies attached to the CRM. You need to do is to click on create company. 
add the company you want to add other features here like the marketing the campaigns is for paid feature remember that we're using the free version you can send email anyone you see the arrow the red arrow just know that this is a paid feature this is the basics that you need to know if you're interested in becoming a real estate virtual assistant watch this video next see you there